um, so now let's create the login page and see how it it works the now the registration is working properly so let's see how the uh, login page works before we use the login uh, page before we create the route for the login let's create a class which uh, stores login form I mean which is named as the login form and it's uh, returning this form as the parameter and then it takes only the username so I'm going to use string field the same thing as Username that we have the validators dot blend, uh, you know, like we say minimum, minimum three and maximum maybe uh, thirty. So now, uh, just right here after our registration, we're going to create a route for login. I'm gonna name it as app dot route let's name it as login and then the methods would be um, we'll have two methods get it as gate and post okay and uh, let's create the function define function let's name it as login form equals to the login form that we have created and the parameter is now going to be returned as the request and we will check if request.method is equal to post and the form is also validated and form.validate then we're going to uh, look at the user form okay uh, so how do we say we say username equal to form dot username dot data so pretty much like we get the data of the username which is in the form and then assign it to a variable known, named uh, username so I'm gonna I'm gonna write something called as password candidate so there is a password that we provided when we are registering and while we want to log in we might give another password so that's why the password that I have already given I'm gonna name it as the password candidate which contains the uh, okay request dot form uh, Uh, this is a password that I have given during the registration and when I want to log in I may provide another password or I may even forget my password so that's why we're, I'm gonna need I have named it as password candidate so let's create the cursor cursor my uh, SQL dot connection dot uh, cursor and uh, I'm gonna Right, I'm gonna make a variable called as uh, result, and this result is going to contain cur.execute. Ex uh, cur is going to call another function, uh, another method called as execute. So here I'm going to write my SQL, my MySQL uh, query as select all from the table users where. Uh, where username equals to percentage and then we're gonna pass the username now uh, we will check if we'll check if any result is found if any uh, let's say uh, row of information is found then we will say We'll say data uh, equals to uh, cur dot fetch one. If it is okay, 
This fetch one is a, a method that is uh, calling each username uh, at a time, you know, at one time. It is going to display it. one username at a time. So, um, and then the, the password is equal to data. Uh, we have the password. So, we will also have another if inside this because here we are going to now we have the data we have the password and we have the data now we are going to compare the passwords as i told you like there's a password that you are providing while registration while you're registering and there's a password while you are providing when you want to log in so you say if sha256 crypt this is a library verify it's going to call a method called verify and uh, here you're going to say password and the password candidate the password that you're providing during the uh, login and the password that you have already provided while registering you say verify these two like check whether these two are you know equal with are they okay so let's say if if that is the thing so use the session and uh, get it as logged in get the logged in as uh, true and another session we're saying uh, username equals to the username what is a session we have already import we have already imported this session right here from the flask uh, package right here session so this session is taking care of uh, you know the data that uh, the user you know uh, let's say uh, let me just uh, explain it in a uh, in a better manner you know when we, when it comes to the technical details about the session of course session means you know something like an appointment you know but when it comes to the technical details you know all web applications work through http protocol uh, which is you know stateless that means http does not remember or even it does not record details of any request it only takes the request to the web server then it serves the response back to the uh, browser that particular browser so this is not enough right as user identity is required for operations followed you know after login so a session is created you know upon user login and it can be used to hold any information attributes required between between requests you know until logout uh, sessions can be maintained using hidden form fields or you can uh, write it within cookies or you can write it within HTTP sessions so just very simple session takes care of uh, the requests when login and the the time when you log in until the time when the user actually logs out of the particular uh, website so pretty much you can say the timing between uh, login and logout you know so many operations may, ha may happen, many requests may be done, are done, you know, so all of these things will be, uh, I mean, session will take care of all the uh, operations done between login and logout. So that particular time is called a session. That's why we're saying, take the session and, uh, okay, let's continue. And if it is done, then you give me a message uh, like you are uh, logged in and then the message is success so if this is not happening if the passwords do not match then you say else you can, you can one you say else uh, flash uh, incorrect password and it is going to be danger that means the color is going to be red. So 
If it is not, then it will take you back to the return redirect template. Uh, take you back to the uh, login page so that you can try it again. Login.html and uh, form equals to form. So now the password maybe is incorrect. So even sometimes it, ha it, ha it happens like uh, you know the, the 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 user name the, the user has not registered yet so we're going to put another uh uh okay mm, we get the flash message right here it sh i should be directed to another page so that's why i say return redirect template uh, return uh redirect url for take me to a a page called us okay after you logged in you should be able to go to the uh, dashboard now we don't have it I'm gonna create it within a second uh, so right here we're gonna say come back uh, to this this if the else is right here so we're gonna write this else Maybe the user is not even uh, available. Then we say flash uh, username not found. Then it will be like danger. And then we uh, close our uh, cursor. So return, uh, return render template. Uh, login.html and then we are going to pass the form as the parameter right here even before else uh, okay not before else right here we're going to say at the very first when we open the uh, uh, you know login route so this is the F. The return redirect template. Um, okay. login.html form equals to form uh, so right here we have to make sure that things are actually aligned and okay we have form and why do we have to display it for two times Uh -huh. when we open this uh, login route we should be taken to this page now this is uh, working right here let's create this dashboard I'm gonna open a new file I'll save it as dashboard.html and I'm gonna save it inside templates folder and uh, okay let's put some some some, some details inside and let's end it with the end block right here and inside that let's put it a message uh, let's name it as h2 like dashboard and then we'll we will display a message like welcome then we will get the uh, session dot user username so hopefully it works we have we will do the registration 